Central Valley Buzz, everyone. I'm your host, Chuck Leonard. And what's that funny music I hear out there? <laughs> that must mean it's time to go to Old Town Mariposa. Let's bring in my good buddy, Bob Borchard from Bet's Gold Coin. Bob, how's it going? It's going really, really good. Today. Really good to see you. Now, who'd you bring with you today? Uh, this is a, a new friend of mine. Um, you know how they make jokes about me having never met a stranger? Oh, boy, here we go. Well, I thought it was that you never had a friend. <laughs> oh, no, no. no. Uh, but, but Ray, I met Ray up in Coulterville uh, a week or so ago, and this guy and I have, have really got a lot of similar interests. Yeah. Unlike yeah. you and me. Well, you know, and you've been promising <laughs> to take me to Coulterville for a long time. And, and I will. One of these days I'm going to take you over there. But... Right now, this is Ray yeah. Winter. Ray, Ray, how's it going? This Thanks Friday, for this by. Friday and Saturday, you're invited to Coulterville. How's that? What's going on up in Coulterville this uh, Friday and Saturday? A big event. Big event. We've got the John Muir Festival. It's the fifth annual John Muir Festival, and it's going to be a lot of fun. A two-day event, Friday and Saturday. So uh, you know, evening events and on Friday night and all day in the afternoon at Horseshoe Bend, Lake McClure, on Saturday from 8:30 uh, to 4 o'clock. So, okay. yeah. Well, first off, before we get into the festival, why don't we talk a little bit about who John Muir was? Yeah, he's that guy on the quarter, the California quarter. So you know he must be important because if he made the quarter, he must be the biggest deal in California. And I always, I always share that with my students. I teach uh, literature at UC Merced and uh, among them environmental literature. And we talk about John Muir. He is the foremost preservationist philosopher in the world, really. He really started with America and it spread worldwide and he's considered the most important uh, ecological thinker uh, ever. And so he's an important California figure and so the John Muir Geotourism Center hosts this festival every year and celebrates his ideas, his philosophies, and his life. So, yeah. Can we talk a little bit about his philosophies? Absolutely. So he was a, a preservationist and he believed that all things were interconnected. You can't take one thing out of the equation and not affect every other thing. And so, especially in the 21st century as we think about population increases and, and, and urban sprawl and all kinds of this stuff, he, his principles still stand today. And he was an interesting guy, fa fascinating guy. He was a, a scientist, uh, an inventor, a uh, mechanical genius. He'd, he'd made all kinds of wonderful mechanical inventions, but he was also a did poet. He make, you know, did, he he make anything, did he make anything that we use today? Uh, let's see. Well, he, he kind of invented uh, the national park system. I think that's kind of a big deal. Yeah, that's kind of a big uh, deal. So that's his, that's his greatest one. He, did, he, he made a, 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 an alarm clock, but what it would do would, it was kind of a, one of those, uh, the beds, that, kind of a Murphy bed, Okay. But when, when the alarm went off, it would throw you up out of bed into the air, <laughs> and he'd get up. He's, he was known for getting up before, before the break of dawn and reading all morning before his dad sent him out the door to go farm. So, yeah, he, he did all kinds of cool stuff. And uh, did he discover the Yosemite Valley? He did not. He, he came around um, the Yosemite Valley. The first time he came to the Yosemite Valley was 1868, and so Yosemite had just recently been made a protected space by Abraham Lincoln uh, with the Yosemite Grant and in fact this is the 150th anniversary of the Yosemite land wow. grant which is a special thing to celebrate John Muir but he came in 1868 came over Pacheco Pass on foot walked up into the valley and right through right through the uh, the foothills all the way through Yosemite Valley up to Tuolumne Meadows and back as a sheep herder that whole time, which he is interesting. He walked so, from Pacheco yeah. Pass yeah. to Yosemite Valley? Pretty cool. Pretty cool. You can't do it anymore. You might get in trouble crossing some boundary lines. But he did it before there were many boundary lines. And, um, and, and there are some, some famous uh, lines that he's written down. He was a voracious writer. He just, he, every day he wrote pages and pages. And, and he documented what the valley looked like before it, it was what it is now. And it's really kind of a kind of a, a, a time capsule, you know, it's a, it's a special kind of piece of history. We don't have photographs, we don't have video, we've got John Muir's vivid, beautiful, descriptive language of what it looked like, and he said the valley floor was just this sheet of gold, and he looked up at the purple mountains, snow-capped, and it was just, it's this beautiful, you know, wax poetic about it, it really is gorgeous, and we know how, how beautiful our, our valley and foothills are. So. Now, was he a little bit of a sketch artist, too? He was, he was phenomenal, I mean, this guy was really a renaissance 
man. And he, he could do everything. And he sketched all kinds of stuff. He, so he'd sit there and, and draw. He was a naturalist, a geologist. And so he was fascinated with rock formations, mountain formations, and he always made all kinds of theories. Uh, you saw some pictures there. Actually, that was a picture of Horseshoe Bend that he drew. Okay, yeah, check yeah. this out. This is a, a sketch by John Muir. And then you guys, you have a picture coming up yeah. next right here that looks, this is the same that's right. Vantage point? That's, and that's exactly what you'll see when you come to the festival on Saturday at Horseshoe Bend at Lake McClure. Uh, we see first the picture that he drew and then the, the picture of uh, modern day uh, Horseshoe Bend. It's pretty wow. neat. Yeah. Wow. Okay, well, we've heard a lot about John Muir. Now let's talk about the festival and what's yeah. going to be going on up there this weekend. Very exciting. Very exciting. So a little bit of everything. Friday night is going to be a, an auction, dinner, live music, uh, a couple of documentaries being shown. Among them, Ken Burns' very well-known documentary, uh, Yosemite. And right. uh, that, that's going to be uh, pretty special. And uh, as well as, and really for me it's the highlight, hearing from Rort Hanna. And that's the great-great-grandson of John Muir. And he's going to be there sharing some kind of family history. I guess I could say some family secrets, some photos some stories, and he, he himself is a, an environmental um, advocate, and so he's, he's doing some special stuff uh, on his own, and he's going to share that th on Friday night. Saturday is the outdoor stuff. Uh, we're going to be out at Horseshoe Bend. Uh, if you want to get up a little bit earlier, at 8.30, there's a hike that starts. There's going to be hikes going on all day, but then there's a, a climbing rock wall. It's, for, it's all for the price of admission. Ten bucks for adults, eight dollars for seniors. If you're 12 and under, it's free. But all day there's activities for kids, there's crafts, there's food, there's booths, there's live music. Uh, it's going to be a big old party. It's going to be fun. Sounds like a lot yeah, of fun. It's going to be cool. Now, how, how would people get there? Let's say they're coming from the, from the uh, south, Fresno. Yeah. How would they get there? This is how I like to go. Because I live in Fresno, and I go up to Coulterville, Coulterville frequently to, to work at the John Muir Geotourism Center, or hang out, or do some fun stuff, ride my bike, all kinds of stuff. I go up the 41 north, hit Oakhurst, and take a left. And I go down 49, because it's a beautiful drive, and it's almost the exact amount of time it takes um, going on the 99. But I would probably recommend going on the 99 if there might be a little more traffic this weekend. Go up the 99, go through Merced, and uh, take uh, what, 59. 59 up to the 132, okay. right? Yes. And, and there you'll hit it, right there on the side of the road. Right. See the exit. So a Beautiful yeah. drive, beautiful oh, drive either way. Gold country, for, for sure. Yeah, you win. Now, uh, Coulterville, a lot, lot, of, lot of history there also. Really if you just wanted to go just to check out the town. Yeah, Friday night, in fact, it'll be a special evening. You'll be able to go into the History Museum. There's going to be some live music there, a wine and cheese deal. Uh, after after uh, the dinner, everything's going to be wide open, and uh, we're going to be able to, to to just enjoy some history there. It's one of the towns that John Muir walked through on that first summer uh, in the Sierras for him, and he wrote about Coulterville and some of the special spots, and so it's a historic town all its own, um, and, and so that'll be highlighted. Well, one of the one of the highlights too is. Uh, uh, that uh, some of these other gold country towns are going to be uh, shared. They're all interconnected. They share really a similar story. And, uh, you know, Mariposa is no... You know, uh, there's, no a, there's a facet of this that I, I, I think that, that's really unique. And when you put Mariposa together with the world, it's... Um, we have, in this next picture coming up, uh, we have a, a person who likes to play John Muir. Mm -hmm. he's, a, he's a professional actor. Lee Stetson. Okay. He also happens to be the supervisor from the district in Mariposa County that represents Yosemite. Wow. And he will be at the festival. But uh, Lee is a very special person uh, and, you know, totally gets involved in the character yeah. when he plays yeah. the role of, of uh, John Muir. He's amazing. Uh, the accent, the gestures, everything is, is correct. This is, and, and he's a Mariposa County elected official. Just to give you some flavor for what Mariposa, are, are, it runs right into our politics. There's yeah. characters everywhere in Mariposa, <laughs> everywhere, sure. everywhere it turns. <laughs> I was hoping that he could be here with us today, but, but Lee is, uh, he serves on our board of supervisors, and so he was in a meeting. But, uh, You'll have to come to the festival, yeah. Yeah, you and he'll be there. So John Muir will be there. He'll be walking around, and you heard him say accent. He, John yeah, Muir is a, is a Scot. 
So oh, he yeah, came over, Scottish, and he was accent. born in Scotland, and he came over as a very as a young child. I think he was eight, and uh, they were farmers. They lived in Wisconsin for years, and then in, in his adulthood, he had a chance to to say, hey, I, I have this wanderlust. I want to go see the Appalachians. I want to go see the Sierras, this famous place called Yosemite. Uh, and so uh, Lee Stetson, and, and Lee awesome. Stetson is amazing. He's, he's wanted everywhere to be John Muir. In, in fact, he comes to UC Merced once a year as a, as a highly regarded guest sp speaker as we talk about the Central Valley and the Sierras and that uh, interplay of bioregions. And he's a, he, he comes and is John Muir for us every year there. Really, really sought after guy. So he'll be there all weekend too. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Well, before you guys leave the Tower District, you got to go to right by John Muir Elementary, right around the corner. That's right. That's right. In fact, I grew up in Merced, uh, another valley town just up the road, and that's where I learned to read. I went to John Muir Elementary in Merced, and it's just kind of serendipitous that now, as an adult, he's he's the guy I study and teach and research, and it's it's pretty neat, pretty fun. Very, very yeah. cool stuff. Yeah. Again, tell Glad the people you. at home how they can get there and what what. Uh, what the time is, time is on the event. Friday night, you want to get up there 4 o'clock. You can check it all out at the website. Yeah, that's the easiest one-stop shop, johnmuir.us, and you can buy tickets online, super easy. But Friday night, events start around 4. Uh, if I believe, right, I think dinner's at 6, auction and music all night, wandering around, having a good time, uh, some documentaries as well. And then um, Saturday, 8.30 starts the hike. 10 o'clock is the festival actual kickoff. If you come a little early, go for the hike. And then 4 o'clock, that wraps up, and you can head back into Coulterville for some more fun that evening. So it's nonstop. Now, how long of a drive is it from Mariposa to Coulterville? Uh, from Mariposa to Coulterville itself, that's about uh, 27 minutes. About. That's about 27 minutes. In round numbers. It's a bit. <laughs> but uh, you got to understand, you're going through the Merced River Canyon, and that's like uh, the Grand Canyon. It is. It it's is. Gorgeous. Uh, a, an amazing gorge. You, you drop down through some of the old mining, the uh, Princeton mine and some of the original mines that were founded by John C. Fremont. You drop down into the, the canyon down to the Merced River. You'll cross where Benton Mills was, the, mill, uh, the mining processing yeah. ore processing facility that John Fremont built. And then you go back up the other side of the canyon into uh, um, Coulterville, and you, you will get a tour of, of the whole Motherload uh, mining area from Coulterville to Mariposa going on the Highway 49 route. Awesome. Sounds yeah. like a great time, something that I, I know my kids would love to e explore. I, if, I, if I go up there this weekend, I'll see both of you guys, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. All right. Hey, Ray, I want to thank you Pleasure. for coming by. Right. Thanks, I, I, Thanks. I'd love to talk to you for so. a lot more time yeah, about John Muir. Bob, always good to see you. Go see Bob over at Bet's, Bet's Gold Coin in Mariposa, or just wait to see him right here next Thursday. We're going to take a quick commercial break. We'll be right back on the bus.